This video is brought to you by the Paper Discovery Center, Appleton, Wisconsin. This video will provide an example of how to make a book with a toothpick binding. You can see that we use four toothpicks, one, two, three, four, and then there are three leaves to the book. Each leaf is only one page. To go over leaves, I have a pretty old book here. You can see the binding is kind of worn. But what you'll see is that each, there's like groups of folded leaves in this book. Okay, if you look at the book, here's the page number up on the top, 32, 33, and if we continue, 34 would be the next one. But down here at the beginning of this leaf, there's a binding signature number. So this would mean it's the third leaf of the book. If I go to where the next section is, the binding signature would be a four. And it would continue on, it would be a five. Sometimes they are numbers, but other times they are letters. In this particular booklet, on the template you have, there are binding signatures on the pages. There's, and we're using letters, an A, a B, and a C. So what that means is this cut in half, this little section, would be folded as one leaf A. Likewise, this would be folded as a second one, and this section would be folded as the third. You have a template that has pages where you copy it front to back, and it's all set up to line up exactly. And this would make one book, and then just so we don't waste paper, we duplicate this so that this you need half as many of these because you're getting two for every page you print off. The first thing you're going to do is take your sheet after copied front and back and cut it to ten and a quarter inches. Cut that down and we're going to cut the next one down to ten and a quarter inches. And then what we're going to do is cut those in half to five and an eighth or that also comes out to be 13 centimeters. And so we'll do that with the other one where we have a duplicate. Five and an eighth. Cut that down. So we have our three pages for the book. And we're going to put it so our A, B, and C, our binding signature is showing. We're going to take this one, fold it in half so the A is on the outside. We're going to take this one, fold it in half so the B is on the outside. And this one, fold it in half so the C is on the outside. Then we're going to use the ruler and make some marks. We're going to line it up, and here I can do it on this table. We're going to go center the 13 and go one and a half from the edge and one and a half from this edge and then I like doing it putting it near the two so every two centimeters after that two centimeters two centimeters two centimeters two centimeters and then two centimeters again then you're going to take a hole punch line it up so it's making gonna make a centered semicircle on each of those points. And you're going to do that with all three of your leaves. Okay, so now we have our three leaves, A, B, and C, all prepared with the holes. And now we're going to take the A and B leaf together and we're going to start the binding. And this is like a weaving process. You're going to go in to one on the A leaf and then switch to the B leaf for the next one. Go back to the A leaf and then finally end up in the B leaf. And sometimes you can open it up to make it easier to put it through. And then I pound it against the bottom so I don't hurt my finger pushing it in. Something you'll have to be prepared for for the little ones. 
Then what you're going to do is bring up the C leaf and you're going to go in the B leaf and then weave it through the C leaf back to the B leaf and again if it's hard to get through don't worry just open it up a little bit so it can go in there easier and then again kind of push it down to go back. So there's two and then you're going to do the other side. You're going to go and this now is back to the A leaf. We're going to start there to the B leaf to the A leaf back to the B leaf and this last one is the toughest to get in because you're also worried about hurting you know, your fingers hitting the point. And then in this one you're going to go in the B leaf which is here into the C leaf back into the B leaf if we can get it there we go and then back into the C leaf push it down and so there's your binding. So you have the finished book with the toothpick binding and as you go through the pages there's the toothpick showing up in the binding and they'll look a little different on alternating pages. There it is on that page and there's your signature down there with the B. Here it is on this page. There's the signature with the C and then Finally, like that. And there's your toothpick bound little book.